Okay. All right. Hey guys, it's your girl Tiffany Satchu, aka Mystique, the Eleven Eleven Coach. Okay, so I wanted to do a quick vid on how to an easy an easy energy technique to um, clean. Well, to cleanse and and um, to cleanse and reinforce your chakras, right? Okay. So remember this collective, right? We have four basic beliefs, right? We believe that we deserve healthy physical bodies housing our beautiful spirits, right? We believe that we deserve relationships that are love based and fair exchanges of energy we also believe that we deserve multiple streams of income ridiculous ridiculous amounts of income that satisfies each and every one of our needs and desires We also believe that we deserve a perfect work that fulfills our deepest passions. Okay. So, a lot of people sometimes have trouble with visualizing. Or they think, that's what they think. Because we all we all visualize in our own way. You just don't know when you're doing it. Like when, like when you're hearing a story, when someone's telling you a story, you're picturing those words in your mind. Like, especially if you're into it, right? So there's a, a, a movie going on in your mind that you're not consciously aware of that's, that is helping you to engage your visualization faculties, okay? So when someone works, when someone practices alchemy, and they're using elements, right? And you hear, right, you hear them talk about using, well, I don't want to get too much into all of that, but because this is not about alchemy. But what I want to say is that to me, Water is probably the most powerful element to work with. Okay? Back in the day, I believe, this is a part of my belief, back in the day, water had intranistic powers. Okay? Like, if it was like an elixir, it could heal you. But over time, right, because of war and low vibrating emotions, all right, that humans expressed in the environment, it brought the vibration of water down. So water isn't, doesn't have those magical properties that it had, like, back during the time when that biblical times spoke of. All right? Like, if, like the Garden of Eden. If you believe that. I believe that. I believe in everything, y'all. I believe in everything. I believe in unicorns. I believe in everything. So, to me, water is like God in manifestation. Water, if you think about water, water is probably what water is. Water is the only element that you can use, is the only substance, should I say, that can cleanse something. I don't care how dirty that it is. If, you're, if you con consistently submerge something in water, you're going to cleanse it. If you consistently submerge yourself in water, you can cleanse yourself mentally, physically, spiritually. Okay. 
So what if we took this belief into our shower? Right? Because you can also program water. And there's been studies on it. That if you took two glasses of water and you yelled berating, degrading comments at one glass and at the other glass, if you said beautiful, love and light things to it and you held a drop of water under a microscope, you would see that those, the molecules in each of those drops of water would look different. The one where you said nice things, beautiful things, healing things to, that drop of water would look like a beautiful snowflake. And the other one where you said disgusting things to would look just like that. Disgusting. A disgusting, muddy puddle of nothing. <laughs> so, if we took this belief into our shower... We would be able to cleanse. We would be able to cleanse. I got dark tints on my window. It's so hard to see at night. Um, we would be able to take. Oh, if we 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 would be able to use this belief in our shower water, right, as a technique in our sh in our shower time as a technique to cleanse our chakras. So. You know you have eight main chakras and they each have a color right so you can look that up I'm not gonna I don't want to make this video dumb long because you know I'm driving too um, and I'm about to get out I'm about to jump out real fast so um, if you you can imagine and I think there's a I saw a shot a shower meditation I used to listen to years ago maybe like over like 10 10 years ago and it was, I forgot what the name of it was. And I got it off of YouTube. It was like years ago. But you would stand in the shower. And I do this, to be honest with you. Right? And you think about water. You think about the element of water. And precisely what you want it to do. Right? So you have to set an intention. So our intention would be to cleanse clear and protect our chakras so you would imagine that the water coming out of your shower head are the different colors of your chakras as a matter of fact the shower that I have shower head I have it changes colors you could buy you could buy something like that or you can just simply just use your mind just to me I feel like I manifested that into my life. I manifested that shower head into my life because I was doing that specific thing so much that that just like came into my life. I wasn't even looking for that. I didn't even know they made stuff like that. But I think that it's, it's powerful when you just naturally do it. It doesn't matter. You know, so I'm not telling anybody to go spend money on a shower on a you know shower head you're gonna change his colors i'm saying like this is like you can use your shower time as an opportunity to go within and heal yourself so you would just see imagine even just using your thoughts even if you can't see it using your thoughts imagine that the water coming out is the color of each one of your chakras okay and you want to start from your from your foot chakra and you work your way up Okay, so you would see the color brown, cleansing your foot chakra. Then you see the color red, then you see the color orange, then you see the color yellow, all right? Then green, then blue, okay? Then purple, all right? And then white, okay? And then you can see a white light shining back down upon you going down each chakra and you use your you use your thoughts in 
in your mind your you know like this is magic this is how you do magic that's magic using your imagination all right and this white light it's healing you right so you're brightening up each chakra you're strengthening each chakra with 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 its color right penetrating each chakra with its own color white light you're cleansing each chakra and you're protecting it okay so this is a great to me for me i would say this is a great technique to use during the full moon okay to help to release residual energies that just do not serve you okay that you don't want to take into the next this new phase that you're going so I love you with that agape kind of love. I hope that that was helpful. I know I could elaborate a little bit more, but I'm sorry. I got to go in here and do something. But I just thought about sharing that. I just thought about sharing that with you guys. All right. I'll see you in the next video.